Welcome back to another video. My name is Larry Snow and in this video I'm going to be showing you two image compression tools that I use on a daily basis before I upload images to my website. And I'll let you know why image compression is a huge factor in a faster loading website. So let's get started. Images often account for most of the downloaded bytes on a web page and also often occupy a significant amount of visual space. As a result, optimizing images can often yield some of the largest byte savings and performance improvements for your website. The fewer bytes the browser has to download, the less competition there is for the client's bandwidth and the faster the browser can download and render useful content on the screen. If you have ever waited on a site with large image files to load, you have seen why image compression is necessary. To compress images means you take away or regroup parts of an image so that it takes up less space. Long load times will cause more of your customers to abandon your page in search of another one. Long load times may affect your website's Google search results rank. There are two basic algorithms used for compression lossy and lossless. Lossy compression makes changes that create lower quality images. The smaller you make the file, the more noticeable your differences between the original and the compressed file become. Lossless compression algorithms don't discard any information, so they result in larger files than lossy compression generates. Lossless compression finds better ways to store the information and the picture does not lose any quality. An example of a lossy type of image is JPG or JPEG or JPEG. A GIF image, GIF, is another example. Lossless image types are PNG and TIFF, T-I-F-F. There are many different tools available to compress images. In this video, I'll be showing you Google Chrome Labs web app, Squoosh, and Optimizilla. Others I've tried are Compressor IO, Tiny PNG, and Compress Now. Let's start with Squoosh, and Squoosh is what I have on the screen right now, and it is a progressive web app, or PWA, that works with any browser on desktop and mobile, and offers several best-in-class codecs to compress and compare images within the browser. Since it is a PWA, Chrome OS users and Windows 10 users with the latest version of Chrome will be able to use Squoosh like a native app. So let's start with one of these down here, the demos that they have right here. We'll click on that and it'll open up. And this is the interface. So what you have on the left is the original. What you have on the right is what you're compressing. And the line in between is the difference between each, uh, each one. So let's take a look at some of the tools here. So I, at the very bottom, I can reduce the size of what I'm looking at. So I get the full picture or I can zoom in. I have a, a way to position the image in a different direction. Over on the right hand side, we have our compression tools. We can actually resize it, which does not compress it. So don't mistake that. Uh, but you can resize it for maybe a, like a Facebook size or if you want something square or that type of thing. They also have uh, image quality. Now this is something you might see in Photoshop. Uh, I know in Photoshop we have low, medium, and high. And you can choose those here as well uh, when you resize it. You also have a way to reduce the palette, which means reduce the number of colors that are seen on the screen. And you also have the choice of what compression version you'd like. Now the one that Chrome is using and the one that they're pushing out right now is WebP as some of the other ones and it defaults to uh, Moz JPEG when you first load up uh, Squoosh. But you can change a JPEG into a PNG by using uh, Opt Opti PNG or Browser PNG. And if you upload a PNG, you can reduce it to a JPEG. Uh, the next uh, thing down is the quality range. So on a scale of zero to 100. So when you first load up your image, it's gonna give you a 75 quality. 
it's going to say this is this is pretty close to the original and this is as far as I can reduce it and have it look the same and what I usually do is I try to get it down Ob first of all I'm not uploading 2.79 megabytes <laughs> to squoosh to reduce for a website you want to have something that's maybe uh, in kilobytes and you're uploading it to reduce it to get lower kilobytes right so I start working on how far can I go without losing a lot of the quality. Now you can see here, if I move this over a little bit, you can see here on the right hand side that that's starting to pixelate when we have it on quality of a 27. So I usually end up around a, a 60. Now if I look at the original here, you can't really tell the difference. But again, this is a huge image, so I've reduced it by seven uh, by seventy nine percent, which is uh, fantastic. But again, I wouldn't use this type of example. But this is just for you guys to get uh, a handle on what exactly Squoosh does. Now, if you use some of these other options here, compression options, uh, if you switch to WebP, you have more options in the compression tool. So uh, let's go and show advanced settings. So you can compress certain channels like the alpha quality, the alpha filter quality. You can also adjust the filter strength. Uh, you can do some other conversions. So it's much more detailed on the conversion if you switch to Web uh, P. And if I click down to browser PNG, you won't have very many options. So I usually use Moz JPEG uh, because that's the simplest way to do things. Uh, I haven't really delved into some of the WebP because I, I need to get an image out quick. So I usually use the Moz JPEG and look at the quality and make sure you know I'm comparing uh, the original to the, to the one I'm compressing so that I know that it's going to be a pretty close uh, comparison and then that way I know I have a pretty good image uh, that will be seen on the website. So that is Squoosh. Let's go over to Optimizilla and both of these are free by the way I didn't mention that. So Optimizilla is another online image optimizer and it uses a smart combination of the best optimization and lossy compression algorithms to shrink JPEG or JPEG and PNG images to the minimum possible size while keeping the required level of quality. So unlike Squoosh, where there is a lossless option, uh, if we go to the WP version, see how there's a lossless version we can do here? In Optimizilla, there is no lossless version. It's only lossy. So one of the great features of Optimizilla is the ability to upload 20 files at once, 20 images at once. And you can just drag and drop, or you can click on Upload and select up to 20 and import them in. For this demonstration, I'm just going to grab our photo from our uh, squoosh. And it's going to do the compressing. And it's going to say, okay, this is the re best result I can give you and uh, compared to the original. Now, again, it's a gigantic image, so it reduced it by 43%. And I think we can do a little bit better. So it does have the comparison. So I can zoom in here. And uh, let's look at the eye, because I think the eye has the most detail. Now, if I reduce that down to... 70 we're going to notice that the eye is starting to get a little blurry and if we reduce that a little bit more much more although when you zoom out it looks relatively the same If we take it down at 0 or 10, 
you can definitely see the pixelation there compared to the original. So I don't want to have pixelation in my images, but I want to reduce them as much as possible without compromising the, the image quality and style. I think that's pretty good there. Let me see the eye. So we reduced it by 85%, which is fantastic, especially for such a large image. So from here, you would just click on this download uh, button up here, the yellow one, or you can click on download now, download all if you have more than one. So in comparing the two, you notice that uh, I cannot change the, JPE, the JPG I uploaded, the, the JPEG photo I uploaded here, I cannot change it. It will download as a JPG. Unlike Squoosh, where I can go in and I say, okay, I want it much larger, and I want to do an Opti PNG, and it will allow me to download a PNG from a JPG. So that's something unique to Squoosh. So this is a, you know, I upload a JPEG, and it will download a JPEG. So that's one difference. Also, I think uh, Optimizilla has much simpler controls, uh, you know, for a while here, I was trying to figure out everything, uh, although I do like the resize option. I, I felt it was a little bit overwhelming, especially when you switch to WebP to figure out, you know, what all of this means, especially when you go into show, show the advanced. Now, I'm sure a person who's uh, very hip to uh, images and image quality and is a, maybe a photographer or interested in photography knows all of these options, but from a web developer, uh, marketing person, all you want to know is, does this compress my images well enough and still maintain the quality of it uh, that I can upload it to my website to make it load a little faster? So thanks so much for watching this video. For more information about me, you go to larrysnow.me, and I'll see you in the next video.